morning, 47. We have a lead on the shadow client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the shadow client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. Ezra Berg, legendary Mossad operative who specializes in chemical interrogation techniques, is here at the compound to interrogate a prisoner. My notes indicate he set up a makeshift drug lab in a garage, and it looks like he's spending a lot of his time in the basement. Could be an opportunity there, 47. Ask, what are you talking about? I was just at the security station watching the feeds. There's this creepy guy interrogating the hostage. He wears like a 3 d Thank you. 
your interest in my work, but it's a little hard to focus with all these questions. Not a problem. I'll just observe. It's really something else much Is that so? Absolutely. Not the violent kind. Beating people up. Uh, electricity and breaking bones. That's... It, it isn't my deal. I've got tons of respect for you guys. Oh, you didn't see me. Busy 
guy, Dr. Berg. Must be something cool. Bet he's going to check and see if that shipment's been located yet. Sabotaged. I think we have foul play here. Over. Fuse boxes are my speciality. Done 47. With any luck, the perfectionist Ezra Berg will want to examine his notes closely to figure out what happened. So does uh, Rose still supervise the training? Sure, why? Well, if we ever want to get rid of Rose without the boss knowing, I guess uh, Burgess like just taught us how. Huh. Real. I like Everyone your thinking. What is going on here? Tell Parvati, hey, man. Don't make her day. Do we have a description of the suspect? Could be anyone.
What? Don't you dare mess up this goddamn. That's okay. <gasps> oh, mother! Don't believe this! The battering ram has injured one of the strike team, point man by the name of Burgess, and according to those militiamen, Maya Parvati oversees training. Sounds promising. I suggest you infiltrate the strike team 47. Perhaps you can relieve the hapless point man of his duties. It's a beautiful piece of work. Provider. Look for any intruders. Okay. That is Maya Parvati, Sri Lankan assassin turned well, pirate well, turned insurgent. Any broken bones? Wounded pride, that's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. Rose, her body. The point man is back in action. Hey, look out. That's your prerogative. Fine, we'll be waiting. this by heart. But in case amnesia has set in, here's the sequence. Advance to the car with haste. Eliminate the passengers. Retrieve the briefcase. Extract. Got that? And remember, speed and accuracy is the name of the game. All right. Now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out. Please proceed. Pretend I'm not here. Not a problem. That is Sean Rose, terrorist turned insurgent. All right, let's go again. On your marks, ready, set, execute. <laughs> Overall performance. 
performance was passable. Good speed and accuracy, but coordination needs to improve. The point is to build up muscle memory. A perfect sequence of synchronized motion. You need to be able to pull this off sleeping. Pass. Your program was spectacular. He'd make it I nice don't know. Well, Vardy won't know what hit her. Nicely done, 47. Two flies with one swat. I will give it up right away if I you. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. Oi, Big Day, this is the last time. Give it up. We will stand and love to use deadly force. That is Penelope Graves, acclaimed anti-terror analyst. Strange to see her as part of this crowd. Hey, listen guys, I appreciate this dedication. Run up to mommy, you what? So you're all set for the sting? Sure. Got a badge in my pocket, prep my lines, shouldn't be a problem. Almost game time. Ah, uh, you uh, think you can hook her? Graves is new. She comes by every two seconds to check on her work. She's paranoid enough to buy it. So Rose basically wants you to pretend you're with Interpol. Uh, get her to come with you, uh, and then what? I'm supposed to lure her to the slurry pit and tell her to roll over on Rose and the rest of us. I'll try to get her to turn on us. Be interested to see how she reacts. Is she going to ask the guys there to shoot me, or will she give up everything? Yeah, it's a big decision. What if she takes the bait? Well, then Rose is going to find her and kick her ass, I imagine. I'm still not getting a signal. I need you to adjust the satellite reception. All right. Can I get the signal now? Hey, bro. There's another thing that drives me crazy. It's a cat. I've been around the same group of people 24 7. It's taking its toll. Oh, sure. Yeah, there's this new guy on our team. I need to...
Hi, recruit. Yeah, that's unfortunately not going to work. I can't let you through here. Bye-bye. Penelope Graves. We need to talk. Your... Uh... What is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. Miss Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I... Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You can provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. <sighs> and what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove... Unhealthy? I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 47. This should give her something to think about. Okay, look, it's very sweet of you to follow me around on Rose's request, but... Oh, guess what? I'm a big girl. I can handle myself for a few minutes, alright? Thank you. Think, Graves. How did they get to you? Flight out of Lyon under assumed name. Passport provided through Delgado and that Vanisher guy. Make it look clean. Changed clothes at JFK and again at Denver International. Charred the passport after leaving the hotel. Burner phone was dropped before I left the flight. So it can't possibly be that. Huh? Ah!
grunts are here. I got tons of respect for you guys. Forty-seven. It appears the door to the tornado shelter is protected by a biometric lock. To gain access, you need Sean Rose's body, or something equally convincing. explosive battery unit for a Link 4 smartwatch. All oh, right, for the next target. It's this Devereaux guy? Right. But Rose wants to control the time of detonation, so I designed this software trigger. Works by email. Devereaux checks it, the virus infected. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Someone's done their homework. Look how far it dates back. Hayamoto, Beldingford, Del Vade. The Shadow Client has been tracking you for decades. 
Now how is that possible? It isn't. Every one of those missions were branded as unsolved or accidents. He must have been looking for a pattern, a certain M.O., which would mean... He knows me. Well, at least this shortens the list. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg. Ether. And that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. Our warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. Better than anyone. 